Uh, race fans, welcome back to National Hot Rod TV, and we are joined by number 95, Gavin Murray, and his, uh, uh, well, used to be number 312. I'm right there, I'm Mark four, Peck. 414. Four. I don't know what I know about two. hot rod history, hey? So, uh, it's black and white, yeah, it's a job to tell. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gavin, welcome to Ipswich, uh, penultimate round, uh, world qualifying. Of course, you're there, you're secured, but also very much in the mix with the points. Uh, do you think you got a chance? We've still got an outside chance. We've got to have a, quite a good day today. Um, try and keep the nose clean and just stick around the outside and see what happens. Really, the track's hopefully going to be in good condition. There should be a good crowd here, so yeah, we're, we're up for it, right for today. And obviously, you're a local driver, but is this pretty much your favourite track? Is it or a... yeah, favourite track? Yeah, I always, you know, always just come here, you know, with dad and racing, and sort of as I grew up. So yeah, this, this is where we want to be fast. This is where the big the big races, obviously the world final coming up. So yeah, that's where we want to do well. Yeah, you always seem to go well here. I've seen you on that uh, podium quite a few times. And I think last time here at Easter, you was a race winner in the final. Slightly different conditions than today, but... Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, it was really wet that day. Um, I still talk about it. Uh, we could, uh, could get some thunderstorms at 2 o'clock, so we just have to see. But I think uh, it's, you know, it's going to stay, hopefully stay fine. And uh, yeah, we'll see what sort of pace we got, really. Okay, so the car obviously needs a lot of preparation, whether it be dry or wet. The man next to you, Mark, very much famous for his uh, inverse shed. Um, he does a lot of set up for you. I know you do it as well, Gavin, but um, Mark, what's what's involved in setting up a National Hot Rod? Uh, I, I just keep it on top of everything, going through it, checking it all, removing any bent, broken parts, and I think it's having the same car set in the same position every time you turn up and then dial it into the track, rather than big handfuls and big changes, so you're not sure what you're turning up with. And the car now, I believe it was uh, used to be raced by Danny Fisk. Is it a completely different setup for yourself, Gavin, or is it we, the same? We tried, we tried a few different things just to get me more comfortable, really, in the car. We've 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 changed a lot of stuff. We've come back, and we're, we're sort of we're in the ballpark, sort of where we were, where Danny had it. Um, yeah. But I needed, I felt I wanted to make changes just to, so I understood how the car reacted more than anything. Sure. Um, just try and learn a bit with it. So yeah, the, the car is sort of roughly where it is. There's, there's always a sweet spot or a couple of sweet spots in the cars where you've got to try and find. And a lot of it is just feeling comfortable and you know, sitting in the seat really. So the points uh, in front of you, we've got Chris Head, Carl Waller Barrett and Billy Woods. Um, do you look at them and mark them today, sort of like see where they are on the track, or you just go pull out and grab as many points as you can? No, I, I, I'm not really worried about them. We've just got to race our own race, really. Yeah. Any, anything can happen, so we just got to go go full bore and, uh, and keep going, so, you know, and, and score as many as we can. Okay, well, good luck today. Um, well done, the pair of you. Keep The car looks stunning. Uh, you two don't look too bad either, so uh, enjoy the day. <laughs> Stay, Harry. Stay, 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 Stay,